So as you can see, our current greenhouse is more of a high tunnel type situation. It has soft plastic siding that can be rolled up. However, this doesn't allow us to use this greenhouse for seasons. We generally only are able to use this greenhouse from January to May. And so we start the seeds in January, but by May, which is past our frost date, it gets so warm in here that we have to move the plants outside. And so the difference between this new greenhouse would be that this new greenhouse will have hard polycarbonate siding as well as a uh, heater, which this greenhouse does have, but it will also have an air conditioner of sorts for a greenhouse. And that'll allow us to maintain plants in there uh, the entire season, during, including summer when it gets really hot, and that's our limitation in this greenhouse. So while we're able to control the environment in there, that allows us to do experiments and um, maintain plants in there all year round. And so not only would that mean we can start things in January, but it also would mean that we would not have to overwinter the plants, the, the trees would not have to go into dormancy and be stored over winter because we'll be able to maintain the heat and the temperature and any kind of light necessity, like the high light growth room, we'll be able to maintain that in this new building. And the exciting part about this new greenhouse is that it's going to have three separate rooms or bays where we'll be able to do multiple different projects at one time. And that's really cool because we'll be able to have the highlight growth room as well as additional plantings and any other kinds of research that we'll need to do. And that won't limit us to only working during the growing season, which is generally Mar uh, May or March through October.